Okay, I mean my car spins on many mats and uh, just a few minutes ago, so I'm kind of busy, but let's talk what happened Spain, Germany. Tactically speaking, if I have to be honest, I don't think there is any team in this World Cup that can beat Spain, man. Tactically wise. They'll just pass the ball around for 90 minutes. They won't even let you toss the ball. How are you going to score against them if you don't have the ball? Spain are fucking good, man. They are way too good. God damn, the Gavi, Pedri duo. It's beautiful to watch. It's so fucking beautiful, man. Speaking of Gavi, Gavi was great. I saw a tweet, a tweet after the game. Uh, I think by Troll Football or something that said Gavi just cute Pepe and that made me fucking laugh. <laughs> that boy is a nut warrior. How old is he? 18, 19? And he plays that good at 18 or 19 years old. Something like that. And Pedri, he's just magical. Pedri, I don't know, man. I don't know the word for Pedri. It's illegal to use him in midfield. He's better than everybody. He is better than everybody. Today we had Gorezka. Today we had Skimic. Today we had Serge Buske. Today we had Rodri. Who else we had? Today we had Mushiala. We had Gavi. All these beautiful, beautiful players. All these great players. Uh, Sane was Sane came after after a while as a sub. Gnarvi or whatever, how do, however you pronounce it. All these great players and one guy controlling midfield was Pedri. Bruh. It's so beautiful to watch, man. It's so beautiful to watch Spain. Musiala. Uh, yeah, I s talking about Musiala, right? I saw a couple of um, tweets or something, a uh, post or something that said that, that said uh, Musiala was the best player for, from Germany by a mile. If you think that you are a fucking idiot. No, he was not. He was just decent. He was not the best. He was not the worst player in the pitch for Germany, of course. But he was not good. If he had made a couple of better decisions, Germany would have won this game. Whoever doubted Gavi winning Golden Boy Award earlier, you know, earlier this year, um, before Musiala, that was a good decision. Gavi, and today's match saw that. Gavi proved it why he deserved it. He was so fucking good. So fucking good. And Musiala, man, he had one clear cut chances to either to assist or to score a goal. It was like a 1v1. He could have passed that too. He could have assisted. Nah, no, man. Musiala is pretty bad. He was decent enough. Just running around does not make you the best player on the pitch. Some people need to understand this. Okay? Some people need to understand just running around, running for the ball, taking the ball, passing the ball. That alone does not make you the best player on the pitch. Yeah, that's a crucial ability or a crucial thing to do. But, nah. Kimmich was the best player for... Germany and if you doubt that go fuck yourself. Kimmich was good. He was pretty decent enough. He hold the ball He cleared the chances so many times Ah, <sighs> Germany have now what one point Spain with four points. We go up. Uh, we go for the last game Last day, right? Spain is gonna qualify. I'm pretty sure. I don't know about Germany though. Any, anything can happen in this group, man Hmm Hansi Flick his substitution were pretty decent uh, what, what what was his name? I don't know. His name was fullback or something like that. I, I don't even know what his name was. He was pretty decent from before the World Cup started. He had like what nine ga nine goals in fourteen games or something in his uh, club. So yeah, that was pretty decent. And there there were some players in Germany that I didn't even know were from Germany. How? But yeah, Spain Germany. It was a beautiful game. I don't know. I'll I try to make a you know in-depth video later on, like tactical and shit like that. However, I can explain it. But for now, I think this is it. Spain are beautiful, man. Do not write up Spain. They're pretty good. So yeah, thank you. Bye bye.